It's very well known that the world and the United States are aging at a rapid rate. In fact, National Institute on Aging reports uh, that Americans aged 65 and older will double from 52 million in 2018 to 95 million in 2060. So never before has there been a need to understand longevity and healthy aging so that we can help people live longer, better lives. What we wanted to do was focus on what gets better with aging rather than what gets worse with aging. Because the usual notion about aging, it's, it's all gloom and doom, physical health goes down, cognitive function goes down. In reality, that's only partly true. There are things that get better with aging. In order to better understand how to improve aging for older people, I think we need to start taking an approach of looking more preventatively and trying to understand more about psychosocial aging. I think a lot of the time we focus on biological aging or we look at the incidence of disabilities or other diseases, but we don't look at how our social environment and our ability to interact and have relationships can actually improve or change our health, both physical, mental, and cognitive health. What we know about people who are aging here in our country is that they are brilliant, they are wise, they are contributors, they are collaborators, they are caregivers, and they are great friends. And so the work that we do at the center is very much involved in helping to continue to expand those strengths that older adults have and help them live longer while engaged in the things that are very meaningful to them. We study the entire adult lifespan because I don't think aging starts on your 65th birthday. Aging starts at birth. So our studies go on from age 20 to more than 100. And we study people, of course, both men and women, people with different conditions, including people with different diseases. Because successful aging is not restricted to people who are only physically healthy. So we're using things like microbiome to better understand aging. We're doing interventions to help people increase and enhance their resilience or decrease loneliness. We're doing lifestyle interventions with people in the community. We're looking at biological markers of aging. So we're doing blood tests and we're, we're looking at it from every possible angle. We're doing bench research to better understand aging. One of the important aspects of taking care of older people is to have a workforce that has expertise in aging. The number of older people is increasing all over the world. Unfortunately, the number of experts in aging is not increasing at the level that is needed. So our training program started back in 1987 with one trainee, and we have grown since then to train well over 400 individuals, starting with high school students, medical students, postdoctoral fellows, and clinical fellows. So our training programs are nationally recognized. Um, they are making a great impact, and our trainees go on to make a real difference in the field, and that's something we are very proud of. Community outreach and partnership is a big piece of the work that we do at the Center for Healthy Aging. It's critical to the work we do because we can do so much work here on campus, but really what do we know if we don't bring it out into the community and partner with the people we are trying to help and serve? So we have numerous partnerships, not just here in San Diego County, but across the United States and abroad in other countries around the world. I do think though that the older people that we've been studying in San Diego, they are very interested in how to age well. And so I think they like that we're not as focused on disabilities or we're not as focused on diseases that they're having, but trying to understand more about their personal experiences and their inner experiences to actually improve their quality of life. And I think that's sort of a novel approach for some of them. And so that's really the most encouraging and most gratifying part of the work, that we are doing something which is meaningful to the people for whom it is meant.